Good morning, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you and to me. What you're looking at in the center of the screen is one black panda guppy fry born Wednesday morning. There's another one back there. They're all over this tank. Uh, I counted about 365. No, uh, I stopped counting at 12 because they were moving so fast. But you can see they're all over there. Um, Tuesday night when I got home from work, it was pretty late. I came down here and fed the room. And then uh, Wednesday morning, I was looking and because a very pregnant female has been in here for about two weeks. And I assumed fry were going to drop immediately and they didn't. And I was just about to put her back in the other tank and put the other big female I have um, in here. And I decided to wait. And luckily I did because there's, I don't know, 20, 30 fry in here. And she's uh, still quite plump. So I think she's going to have a second drop, which happens a lot with these guppies. Um, but with guppies like this, I like to have two separate tanks like I have with the Cobra guppies. Just in case something happens, you have plenty of backup. And to be quite honest, these black panda guppies are uh, very popular on my website. They're the most popular selling fish I have. And so I really need to help increase the population. While we're here, we're gonna say hi to Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Bruce is my betta, my own betta, the only betta I keep uh, for me. Speaking of bettas, we do have some bettas in Michael's fish room uh, that are gonna be for sale. I told you I was going to show you the setup, and uh, here's my setup that we have. It's just those three small shoebox containers with air stones, and you can see two beds in there, and there's not a bed in the third because he's in my little specimen container so we can look at them. Um, I do change the water. I've had these guys since Saturday. I've changed the water twice already. Um, it's really important in if you hold a bed in small spaces like this that you keep the water quality good um, it's important for their health and that's what we want to do so you also have to very sparingly feed these guys now these guys i want um, to grow and be fat and healthy because they're a little skinny so i do overfeed them and then i i come back and i uh, vacuum out all the leftover food you can see there's a little leftover food from last night in there so before i leave i'll vacuum that out for them uh, this weekend is going to be a pretty busy weekend in Michael's fish room. Uh, we have a bunch of orders going out on Monday. I'm shipping some Cobra guppies to my friend Elijah. Hi Elijah, hope you're doing well. Hope you have a great day in school, buddy. And you uh, really like these uh, Cobra guppies I'm going to send you. You're going to get a, a red female, a green female, and a yellow Cobra female. So uh, let me know how you like them. Leave a comment after you get them for me okay thanks buddy um and then we have the auction on sunday the jersey the north jersey aquarium society auction some of these spectacular jarawi lazuli guppies are going there look at just look at how fantastic that looks i'm not just saying that because they're for sale at michaelsfishroom.com where you can use promo code spring 18 for 18 percent off your entire purchase or anything but that's a pretty cool looking guppy i gotta be honest all right Let's look at a pleco, not a pleco. Let's look at a betta. All right, betta people. I don't really know much about bettas. He's a little small, but what do you call that tail? Look at that. Look at that tail. That is spectacular. Anyway, that's one of them. I don't know what, uh, what you call them. Crown tail? I don't know. Half moon. And his dorsal fin is quite high too. Let's see if we can't. Come on, buddy. Flare. Rawr. No, that didn't do it. All right, guys. Well, that's one of the bettas. Let's go show you some more. Okay, guys. Here's a second betta. Uh, different colors with sim similar tail and fin shape, I guess. Please help me out. I don't know what they're called. Leave a comment below. Tell me uh, what the tail shape or what I should call this betta. Because, you know, if it was a guppy, I would just make up some fancy name like I don't know, this one would be a half moon slate hybrid. I don't know, but all right, better people. Here is the third and final better for sale or that will be for sale at Michael's Fish Room. You can see the beautiful red tail with the little black trim on it. Tell me what you call that better people. I don't know. These guys are a little skinny. That's one of the reasons why they're not up for sale already. I want to fatten them up a little bit. 
make sure they're all healthy make sure they have any little bugs i get rid of them and like i said make them healthy for you guys but this one uh see if we can get them to flare a little bit hey buddy hey Rawr. oh that that kind of did it i guess yeah beautiful tail beautiful looking betta and even though i've made 200 videos i hit pause for some reason in the middle of filming this beautiful betta so please forgive me anyway that is the third and final betta that will be for sale at michael's fish room if uh if things go well i'll definitely buy more i'm just trying something new trying to expand the business if you know what i mean uh bettas are are pretty cool and i know a lot of people keep a lot of different kinds of bettas they only need a small tank you know they don't need a 20 gallon tank they don't need a 20 a 10 gallon tank ideally five gallons or more um but you can keep them in smaller tanks the problem with keeping them in smaller tanks is most people won't do the required maintenance to keep the water clean so the water quality will suffer and therefore the fish will suffer so it's not that they want a palace of a 20 gallon or a 10 gallon tank it's that it's easier to keep water quality you know some people say they're happier in a big tank how do you know that are you a psychologist are you a better psychologist Oh, they swim around more. Yeah, there's more room to swim, so they swim around more. But in the wild, which these aren't anywhere near wild type, um, you know, they're in little puddles and stuff. So, all right, that's enough of my rant. You know how I feel about people giving advice on Facebook. Uh, anywho, let's take a look at what else is going on. Uh, sorry about that. That's better. Sorry about the glare, fishy folks. But uh, there's a gibbiceps pleco. You can see there's a kind of some cool horns. If this will focus, which it's not. Come on. Uh, so a gibbiceps pleco, gibbiceps pleco, however you want to say it. This is going to go to the auction on Sunday. There's also a blue phantom in the back somewhere uh, that will go to auction. This is a tank of the uh, half black reds. I just put one male and a really fat female and a couple little smaller females in here. Uh, just like I did with the uh, black panda guppy, just trying to create another colony of them uh, to grow out. This is one of those fish that, you know, I'll probably sell to a local fish store because they're, they're pretty colorful and inexpensive for a local fish store. I find most local fish stores don't sell guppies at really the price they should be selling them at, especially mine, so... But yeah, that's a pretty nice looking looking guppy. Look at that. Nice. Let's see if we can find uh, the blue phantom. There's also a blue phantom for sale at michaelsfishroom.com. Um, oh, there he is. See him? Just chilling. Look at that. That's a pretty nice looking pleco. Um, yeah, if you go to michaelsfishroom.com, you can use promo code SPRING18 for 18% off your entire purchase including a pleco including shipping actually all right fishy folks let's take a look at the l144s they are growing nicely and uh there is one starting to get some pretty big bristles um this tank is cloudy sometimes i did a large volume water change last night uh probably about 90 percent so yeah a little cloudy still not the one with bristles. He must be hiding in one of these caves. You know what? I bet that's him. See that tail right there? You can see his one of the little fins right there. See the shadow? Not the shadow, the reflection. But anyway, so I, I know I have at least one male, which is perfect, I guess. Uh, although I think more males would be better i guess we'll see what happens when they grow but yeah, these guys get green beans you can see there's some green beans still left over from last night and rapache and cucumber that's why there's forks in there and i got to get them out um i did a large volume water change but i didn't gravel vac because my 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 squeezer stopped squeezing so i ordered another one which should be here today but uh I can't find well this is what it looks like but it's the bigger one that I have uh, it stopped holding pressure so I'm gonna actually do a video on on that kind of thing sort of a do-it-yourself kind of thingy but you'll see that soon 
All right, fishy folks, I'm rambling. As you know, I haven't had coffee yet. Let's take a look at these black Moscow fry because it is Fry Fry Friday. Growing nicely. I am feeding the bejesus out of these guys. There's some Apache in there. Um, we got frozen Cyclops for breakfast. These angels are going to the auction. Uh, there's five of them in there. And three of them are going. Is there five or six? There's six in there. Three of them are going to the auction uh, on Sunday. And three will be going to the auction, the Bucks County auction. If you're local and you want to buy them, hit me up. They're just too really too big to ship. Um, and that's about it. Hope everyone has a great Fry Fry Friday and a great weekend. Let me know what your fishy plans are in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to check out the website. Uh, you know, buy something. Fishy folks, here is one of the betas Michael's fish room will have up on the website. Sorry about these bubbles. These, what the hell? This is my hand, everyone. This is a very special, we call it the Caucasian big hand fish. Rawr.